Here's a list video. What are some delicious low calorie foods that we personally recommend that we personally eat? Yeah, this is going viral right now. We're just talking about health in general. You guys know on the Hot Pop Boys, we got so many lists and thoughts for you guys. Everything from macro, bird's eye, geopolitics, all the way down to just one of our favorite low calorie foods that we think you should try out because not everybody tells you these tips, you know? People tell you don't eat bad, but they don't necessarily tell you what to eat. I mean, even a lot of people out there will tell you not to eat eat at all that's actually not bad advice but we'll get into it guys we're talking about actual foods because you understand we do eat a lot of delicious foods i i still do to this day i eat what i want when i can but there's also other times where i will cut down on calories especially if i'm chilling at home working at home I'm not eating the most luxurious, decadent, delicious food. Sometimes you got to give up something the first two meals of the day yeah. so the third meal you can they, go do what you want. We got to eat Chinatown Cheap Eats and we got to eat all these new Asian food concepts. So, of course, I got to make space for them in my calorie uh, chart. So make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. Andrew, we're about to get into it real quick. This video is brought to you by Smala. Get it at SmalaSauce.com. SmalaSauce.com is a delicious finishing oil from Sichuan to Sicily made with real truffle, made in America, eight ounces of deliciousness yes it is an oil yes there are calories but i put on the foods that i want to eat that i find are delicious and as long as i cut you know at home and i know where to cut my calories i can use smala it's great yeah let's get into number one andrew fat free greek yogurt with sugar-free toppings wow and here's the thing andrew we're not talking about a bunch of dried craisins and granola on there because all that stuff is actually has a ton of sugar and a ton of calories i'm talking about sugar-free uh syrups whether that's maple syrup or Hershey's syrup, they got a variety of boutique ones, keto versions. And then instead of granola, Andrew, use a rice cake. They got chocolate rice cakes, salty rice cakes. So but, basically what I'm you saying mean is- like crumble up the rice cake into the yes. granola, yeah. Yeah, Those and by the way, guys, this is for a skid. It's not real. Oh, you mean our full tattoos? Oh, let me know if we look good with tattoos. Hold on, look at this. Oh, uh-oh. Some people even like to mix in sugar-free pudding mix into the Greek fat-free yogurt. And this is so key, Andrew. You know, for a while, Andrew, uh, I know you in particular, you was into the nooses, but oh, the nooses, man. they got about like 280 each. Yeah, 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 dude, the nooses to me were essentially like dessert. Like, I was not eating that as a health thing. Um, obviously, uh, yogurt has a lot of good calcium and protein in it. Good um, macros, right? Yeah, but David, do you have to explain why people should stay away from sugar? And this is coming from a guy who has been on his own health journey the last six right, months. Right, right, right. Well, I used to wild out, to be honest. I would have like 4,000 calories in a day, and, you know, it does catch up to you at some point, and you just want no to— No matter how much basketball you play. It does not matter. You cannot outwork a horrible diet. Right. That's the truth. I don't care who you are. You just can't do it. Um, I think Halo Top is a really good cheap meal. Mm. Andrew, if you just eat like one fifth of the pint of Halo Top with some salted, uh, you know, sea salt flakes on top, it tastes amazing, especially the 360 calorie brownie flavors. Moving on to point number two, Andrew. These are all things, by the way, that have been out there, but I think there've been improvements in the past, past couple years. Diet sodas, Andrew, with the new formulations that they're coming out with are Banging 10 out of 10. I think Diet Soda used to get a bad rap, Andrew. Diet Coke, I don't really think it tastes that good. But Coke Zero, Hold on. Pepsi Zero. How dare you talk about DC? All right, I love Diet Coke. Slice of pizza, I get it with Diet Coke, right? Because I cut where I can because I'm eating Well, because they don't carry Coke Zero at a lot of spots too. Yeah, but also, so Coke Zero, the formula is actually closer to original Coke. So it's actually Coke Zero tastes more like regular Coke than Diet Coke. Diet Coke has its own flavor. Now, I get it. You got to pick your sugar-free sweetener. A lot of people are going to have something to say about Splenda and Aspartame. And there's like there's like 50 of them. Some people like monk fruit. It's a little bit more expensive. You guys choose, but just cut down a lot of your sugars. But still me, once in a while, I like to snack on some gummy bears. That's, that's my little treat. Andrew, Dr. Pepper has a strawberries and cream zero sugar. Oh, joint. my God. And you know why I like it more? And, and I'm not saying, you know, sparkling waters are not good because they don't have any artificial sweeteners in there. But I don't think that for me, somebody who's used to eating crazy, luxurious things for the past, like, 15 years of my life, like, it doesn't, like give me enough of hitting my dopamine sensor mm. like the way the diet colas do. right 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 man yeah cola is good man i love diet soda and like i said dude they're reformulating everything to taste closer to the original thing in 2023 um Andrew, point number three the only coffee i drink is cold brew i used to get the nitro cold brews i used to get nitro matcha you know i was like all running around new york all the spots eight dollars nine dollars ten dollars each but but it's almost like i'm realizing that i'm giving them ten dollars to take 300 calories. So I'm actually giving a ton of money away 
to get fatter. Yeah, here's the thing a lot about the cold brews that you'll find at the store, man. A lot of them are tasty. They'll have like hazelnut cold brew or this one with creamer, the latte cold brew, mocha latte cold brew. Listen. If you turn that around, you will see how many calories there are. I'm not saying it's not worth it. I'm not saying it's not delicious because I still like to put a splash of at least unsweetened almond milk in my cold brew. But you have to understand, you can get the coffee benefits in the coffee vibe without those extra calories. Cold brew itself is like 10, 5 calories. Like it's literally almost nothing. Right. Right. But once you start putting creamer and sugar into it to make it taste fire, then it's like... 100 calories. And obviously, the newer generation, the reason why they consume more cold brew than hot coffee is because a lot of the bitterness has been taken out through the cold brewing process. Right. Um, yeah, you can get a jug of cold brew on sale for $5, Andrew, and get like 10 cups out of it. I actually mix it with Pepsi Zero or Coke Zero. And if I want that vanilla thing, I can use vanilla protein powder to even give me the vanilla vibe right. to cream it up, right? And so by gonna... using vanilla protein powder to mix into your morning coffee, it doubles as a creamer and also gives you a lot of protein. Obviously, there's still some calories yeah. in the protein powder, but it's totally worth it given how much protein you get with Dude, it. Dude, I also got some sugar-free Uji matcha powder from Amazon, too, from Japan, too. I bought a bunch of stuff. Um, Andrew, point number four, you got to get a cool-looking water jug. And I feel like tap water is absolutely okay. That's one thing I definitely disagree with people when people are like, oh, no, everything's got to be filtered because tap water has this chemical or that chemical. I disagree with that because you're just making too many barriers for people to be healthy. Well, I would say in probably 80 to 90% of American cities, you can probably drink the tap water. Right, right, right. Of course, like check on Reddit yeah, for, there's for your own specific situation. It is variable in, district to district. In the big cities, usually you go okay with the tap water, especially if you want to flavor it. Yeah, so what I take is this gigantic 64 ounce of jug, wa uh, jug of water, right? And I put in, Andrew, lemon powder or lemon crystals. I can put in electrolyte powder, creatine, psyllium husk powder. I put in sea salt because, Andrew, a lot of people don't know you need salt. Because yeah. your body loses salt, Well, especially right? if you're working out. Yeah, you need you, salt. You can use sugar-free water flavorings such as Mio. You, I put in a ton of ice. And, you know, I used to bring so many diet sodas and sparkling waters to the basketball court because that's what I would drink. But now I just bring that 64-ounce jug and I'm good. Mm. Um, Andrew, we got to talk about eggs. Of course, I think everybody knows that eggs are is supposed to be this, like, sort of magical, like, high macro, you know, just good for you in general. Right type of food right but i think the main key is here that I, we bought a bunch of these asian egg sauces from japan and korea and they taste they're specially formulated for eggs right so here's the thing about eating hard-boiled eggs or hard steamed eggs however you guys want to do it by the way i recommend steaming but hard-boiled eggs sometimes you can get a little bit tiring when you just put salt and sugar on i mean salt and pepper on it which it is still really good, but we have a bunch of different seasonings that are, are low calorie or no, non-fat. But you got some like particularly egg made soy sauce. Okay, by the way, it still has sodium. Yeah, so yeah. you can't use, you know, a gallon of it, but just sprinkle on while you eat your, your, uh, your hard boiled egg and it's delicious. Yeah, I think the key is here that it's delicious. I genuinely enjoy it. I'm about to have an egg after this video. Uh, we also got this liquid amino um, sauce from Korea if you're even more concerned about, you know, different things. Oh, I really recommend getting a steamer though. They're only like 15 to $30 on Amazon. Dude, depending on which get, one you get a steamer. Please get an egg steamer. I like the one that we have. It's not too big, but it's not too small. It basically can fit up to like seven eggs. And we also steam chicken sausages. Mm. Chicken sausages is a key, guys, because you get your meat in. It's it's chicken, so it's lower calorie. It, they're usually about 100 to 120 each, which is still calories. But if you think about the flavor and the amount of protein you get with it, I don't know, man. And you're nothing. actually enjoying yourself. That's good. the key. I want to tell people this. What is sustainable is also what's enjoyable. That's going to make it sustainable because you're going to be thinking about how you're cutting your calories on the first two meals, hitting your macros. And on the third meal, if people want to go let a little bit loose, because guess what? That's generally the social meal where everybody's off work. Then you have that ability to mm -hmm. uh, maybe don't do it every day, but you have that ability. Right. Um, last but not least, Andrew, we got to talk about the air fryer. Ooh. The air fryer is crazy because I'll tell you this, Andrew. Uh, do you? I always felt like air fryers kind of had a bad rap until the 2023 models came out. Mm. Somebody was telling me that almost all the flaws, because people don't like preheating, people don't like dealing with like a little bit of a messy cleanup, 
all those are have been eliminated from the air fryer models that are new this year. Yeah, and here's the thing. I actually have a tip, man, is like when you get an air fryer, try to funnel the air vent where it blows the smell out up into your range hood if you can. So what we do is because we don't use our stove as much as our air fryer. I have a cover that I put on the stove and then I put the air fryer on top of the cover so that the air vent from the air the air fryer goes straight into our range hood. Right. It really eliminates about 80% of the smell, it, right? Dude, it eliminates a lot, but you got to funnel it and, in with using cardboard paper. And I think the paper. key thing here is I'm not saying things don't t taste delicious in the oven. They don't taste delicious on a, you know, oven skillet. But at the end of the day, it creates a lot of mess and a lot of smell that a lot of guys don't want to deal with. Yeah, no, it's be honest. Listen, a lot of guys, they don't want to cook at home. I mean, I miss cooking at home, but I think given our apartment and the way that it smells, it's just really, really inconvenient to yeah. fry something and, on a pan. And even to make more than three eggs, it's tiring. And it's, you know, a lot, lot of people, Andrew, roasting vegetables is one of the most consumable ways where they can like accept a heavy volume exactly. of broccoli or yeah. a heavy volume of cauliflower. Right, or asparagus, exactly. Yeah. yeah, listen guys, if you wanna just be at home and eat a meal that you think is delicious, you can put the chicken thighs or the steak in with the asparagus oh. and cook it all at one time. Bro, you know what I love doing in our air fryer is making kale chips. I buy this Tuscan kale, the thick ones from like mm. your grocery store, and then you just spray a little bit of oil on top, throw a little salt on it, and then you air fry it and it crisps them up. Yeah, Andrew, I know you're a big fan of jerky. I like jerky, I like jerky. Yeah, you can't get the super flavorful ones because they have a lot of sugar and sodium. Yeah. And, and it is true, the ones that are more keto-friendly or paleo-friendly, they're more expensive, right? Yeah, Jim? but there's a lot of jerky brands out there. I mean, I mess with turkey jerky. Turkey jerky is really good, too. So just think about it. You know, there's all these different ways you can get a protein snack in. And last but not least, Andrew, just rethink your drink. Some people, they get a crazy pina colada, for example. I, I don't know that many Asians that drink that, but let's just say that has 700 calories. That's like almost like eight vodka sodas. Yeah, no, so the thing is about like mixed drinks, especially the ones with the creamer, the liqueur, or like whatever it is, the things that make it taste like a dessert drink, those things have a ton of calories versus if you still wanna get a little buzz and tipsy, right, and you wanna have a drink with people, if you get tequila soda or vodka soda, the soda is pretty much zero, zero calories and the vodka is low calorie and you get that, you squeeze maybe one or two whole lime wedges in there, you could you could drink, yeah, drink a yeah. lot. Yeah, so those were our tips right off the bat, guys. Obviously, we're utilizing a lot of stuff, Andrew, that I feel like has been developed more recently because I don't think sugar-free maple syrup was at the point until recently where I'm like, this pretty much tastes like maple syrup to me. I don't. I didn't feel like diet sodas had reached regular soda yeah. taste level until recently. Yeah. So there's just a lot of new things that are available in 2023 that weren't available in the yeah. old days. What I will say is this, I think the artificial sweeteners, the sugar substitutes are way, way better than the, a lot of the low fat substitutes. Mm. I think it's easier to replace sugar than it is to replace fat. I understand it. Fat is more delicious to me than sugar. Although I do have a slight sweet tooth, I could cut sugar out and take monk fruit and a aspartame instead while i'm like dang i still need some of that fatty flavor sometimes yeah you know? i would say you can apply any of these tips that we just said at a low level at a medium level obviously if you really want to go for it you can apply these things at a high level it's up to you but let us know some of your other favorite recipes tips and tricks that you have in the comment section below guys we talk a lot about a lot of things on this channel um you know like we said crazy geopolitical bird's eye analysis medium stuff about managing your your friends your family your community but this has to do with just your body being your temple in the most like micro selfish sense possible but you need that aspect as well all right everybody please hit that like button let us know what you think in the comments down below what are some other low calorie foods you like to eat and why especially ones that are delicious oh you know what i saw one that i haven't tried yet because it looks like a lot of work making uh pot stickers but with cabbage wrappers yeah they got that they got every recipe out there. All right, everybody, please hit that like button. Again, let me know what you think about the full sleeve tattoo. It is fake. It is fake, but it kind of looks cool. Yeah. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. Leave it in the comment section below. We out. Peace. Peace.